everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mecca for those of you who don't know me and for those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe because I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, today I'm going to do a haul for you. I do not have a June favorites because I feel it would be pointless since I've sort of been using the same stuff. So this is going to be um, a haul and then I think I'll do a July June favorites together and um, that way it'll be a little bit more interesting for you. Um, I am going to do a what's in my bag video pretty soon I think but um, in the meantime um, I have been the flame has been rekindled with this company um i recently went back to the body shop which i used to be really into but kind of died off for me but i went back and purchased some stuff and i would like to show you the first thing that i got is a um coconut body scrub now what attracted me to this product is the smell it just makes me feel like I'm in some tropical paradise. It smells so amazing. Um, the consistency is like of kind of a lotion, and um, the particles feel like sugar, granulated sugar. So they're not they're not that coarse, um, but it smells amazing. So I'm excited to um, give this a try. They were also having a really good deal at the body shop. I can tell you what it was. Um, buy one, buy one, get the other 50% off. And then I think if it was buy two, you get one free. So, um, the other one that I bought is this one. And I saw this on somebody else's video on YouTube and it really inspired me to get it. So this is the Sweet Lemon Body Butter. And, um, it's for normal to dry skin. Uh, smells sort of like lemonade, but it's really light. And you can smell it on yourself before you go to bed if you have a shower. I used this last night and it's really pretty. So um, if you can get your hands on either of these these products, they smell fantastic. The Body Shop is very famous for their smell. Um, I really also like the, um, the Satsuma flavor, which is like in an orange tub. And it smells like oranges. It's the most beautiful smell. So I picked those two up. Those were body products. That was um, altogether 30 $32, so, $31.50, sorry, so, yeah, good stuff. Um, the next thing that I bought was um, from Sephora, and this has been recommended on YouTube a lot, so I thought I'd get my hands on one, but it's the Cora's um, bot Lip Butter in Jasmine, and it's the one with the pink lid, but it looks like that. It's comparable to the smell of kind of cotton candy, and it is really hydrating. I will say that. It's a very, very hydrating. Do I think that it, it deserves the hype that it gets on YouTube? Probably not. But um, what I wish this pro this product would be amazing. It, it, it is amazing for hydration if that's what you're looking for. But um, this product would be even better if the scent actually, you could smell the scent on your lips while you have it on. It's, it's difficult to smell once it's on you. So, like, I can smell it from here, but once it's on my lips, it kind of just goes away, and I don't like that. I wish that you could smell it, and it doesn't really have a taste either. Um, but it is, the jasmine flavor is comparable to cotton candy, so if you like that flavor, then this is the one for you. There's also guava, and I think pomegranate. There's a couple of other ones, but this one kind of appealed to me the most. So, um, for $13, I say get it, but, um, get it mostly if you're looking for hydration. It's good for chapped lips, and it's, it's shiny. It doesn't really give that much of a tint either, because this is such a light pink, so, yeah. Two other lip products that I got from MAC. Um, I wanted to check out the new In The Groove collection. Um, I wasn't impressed by any of the eyeshadows, the mineralized ones. Um, especially because I'm just still building my permanent collection, so none of them really appeal to me. I really wanted Stereo Rose, but um, I went in about at about 3 o'clock the day the um, promotion came out, and it was already sold out. So um, she asked if I wanted to check other stores, but then she tried the sample on me, and 
I don't know. It wasn't, it, I don't think it deserves the hype that it got on YouTube. So um, if you didn't get your hands on that product and you're upset about it, don't be. I went and sampled it and I wasn't upset when I walked out without it. But um, the other product that I really wanted from the collection was this one and it's called Jazzed. Um, it's coral. It's it, it's coming off a lot more like creamy. It's it's very much more orange, and I'll swatch it for you. Not a good idea to swatch it like that. Yeah, it's not. I don't know. I'm not really good at swatches at all. Um, I can put it on for you. doesn't really show up either. It's just it's a really pretty pink peachy coral. It's milky. Um, it's a pretty color. It's kind of going to be one of those colors that you you do like a completely bronze look. Maybe no eye makeup and throw this on and it gives you that pop of color. Um, it's a nice color. I, I would, I was always looking for a coral like this and this seems to be a really nice one. Um, and then I bought one more lip product at MAC and that is um, this one. It's called High Tea, and it's a luster, and I got this off of Tiffany D's. This was one of Tiffany D's recommendations. Looks like that. That's a pretty good representation of what it looks like. And, um, yeah. It, it, it is a lot more sheer on the lips than what it looks like. It, it doesn't come off as this brown color. It just comes kind of off as a nude shimmer. So, um, I kind of was a little bit disappointed, but it's a luster, so... I mean, I guess I should have expected that. This is also going to be perfect for, um, it, the color that it gives is your lips but better color. Like, your lips but shinier and plumpier. So, um, if you're into that, especially for the summer when you just, like, walk off the beach or, um, you know, after, like, I don't know, going, going out, you can just throw this on and it's kind of the your lips but better color. Nude sparkle is how I would, nude shimmer. Yeah, you can see both of them. So that's jazzed on top and high tea on the bottom. Um, I don't know. It's it's a good color to have, I think. But if you are building your collection and you prefer glosses over lipsticks, definitely get a gloss. Um, two more things. Went to Tiffany's. Um, I just wanted a simple silver bangle, and that's what I got. I'll put it on the side with my other Tiffany's bracelet. Just looks like that. It's really heavy. It's really pretty. Um, yeah, I love it. It's now all over my swatches, but hey, that's cool. Um, so yeah, it's just a really pretty bangle. I hope to get more of these in my collection so that I can, you know, have a set of four or five or something. It'd be really pretty. Um, I also got two accessories. The first one is a hat from Forever 21. It looks like this. I mean, hats are so in for, well, I needed a new hat for the summer, so. There we go. <laughs> um, and then finally, my friend went to um, Europe and they bought me this really cute headband from Topshop. And I love it because it's one of those really, um, I don't know, the funky ones that you kind of just wear right here. And you go out for coffee and you feel really cool. So yeah, I'm thinking that this is pretty. And if, you, if you're if you not comfortable wearing it like that, you can just wear it as a normal headband. But yeah, I like all of my purchases. So thank you for watching. And um, please rate and comment and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you have any recommendations for any videos that you would like me to do, please um, comment below and I'll... I'll do it for you. <laughs> Have a really good um, time. I'll see you when I see you.